If I can give you guys just one piece of advice for this entire video or the whole time you've watched my channel, it is not to attempt a Zara store on the hottest day of the year. Like, I swear, it had no air con and I was queuing for like an hour. Although, I do think it was worth it. The pieces are cute, so you guys can let me know once you watch the video. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna get started with this gorgeous little green top. I honestly was so happy when I saw this because I have this in like the pink color, which came out, I think it was around late spring, and I saw it in this gorgeous like emerald green, and I was like, yes, I need to have this. Um, I got this top, I think I got it in the small, which is the same size as I got the other one, um, and I think that it fits me perfectly. I mean, it's literally just held up with two strings, so you can really, kind of chop and change it however you want it to fit, whether you want it more low cut or um, a little bit higher. I just love it. I've got so many outfit ideas for this. So fingers crossed it does fit the same as the pink one. I just absolutely love the color of this top. The way it's like reflecting off the light coming into the room and then the light behind the camera is just gorgeous. The only thing I would say, and I think it's, do I think it's because I do have the pink top, is that it's got this like slight baggy um, bit of fabric here. Like it doesn't look bad, but it is slightly different to the pink top um, because the pink one doesn't have that. But then everything else is pretty much the same. Like the back is absolutely gorgeous. I think I probably will keep it, but I will try and tie it better. Like maybe I've just tied it wrong because I haven't got anyone here to help me. So yeah. I think it's really cute. The next item I picked up is this gorgeous little orange halter neck top. I feel like this top is gonna be beautiful. If you're going on a staycation or if you're going away, this is gonna be the most perfect holiday top because it's easy to wear. And I feel like this little frilly detailing here kind of makes it look a little bit more dressy. Um, so I really love it. I love the fact that it's a ribbed fabric as well. It's so cute. I think I just need a bit more of a tan to pull it off but I do love it. I really, really love the color of this top. I think it's stunning. One thing I would say is that the frills don't really like, they don't sit up on their own. Like as I move, they kind of move with me and they kind of like fold down. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if I'll keep it, but I do, I like the design. And to be fair, like if I don't move that much, the frills stay up, but maybe this is one of those that I'll leave it to you guys to let me know your thoughts because I am I'm quite undecided on this. So um, yeah, please do let me know down in the comments if I should keep it. So in the store, they actually had the top styled with this skirt, which I really liked. I thought it was so cute. I wouldn't normally pick this up, but I think like seeing it on the model, I was like, oh, okay, I could actually see myself wearing that. It's giving me very like 1960s, 70s kind of vibes. This is an extra small. I'm not gonna lie, I do usually buy a small in Zara, but I'm finding that um, I'm just struggling a bit with sizes and this, the small looks quite big, so I went for the extra small. Hopefully that was the right decision, but I just think, where is the top? I just think this is such a sweet little outfit. Like I really love the color blocking in this. I kind of feel like I like the top more now that I've got the skirt on with it. So maybe, maybe I will keep it. The skirt is lovely. Um, where I am really, really hot and sweaty today, like it was a bit of a struggle to get on, but I honestly just think that's because the flat is so sticky and I am also very sticky. Um, so I think like on a normal British weather day, I'll be completely fine. But I really love this outfit. I think it's very bright, very summery. I don't normally go for like colors like this. I'm a very neutral person at heart, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I think this is really cute. Um, I'm just, I need to work out what other tops I can wear with this skirt because I really just can't wear this top only, but I'm sure I will figure it out. But yeah, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. One thing I feel like Zara are really, really good at is a little midi dress. And I've got quite a lot of white midi dresses, which I think look really gorgeous for like a garden barbecue, but I don't have a black one. And there's something about a black midi dress that kind of gives off more of a classy vibe. Like the dress that I'm wearing today is actually a midi dress, you can't really tell. Um, and I just feel like because it's in black, I feel a bit more put together. So I picked up this dress. I mean, it might be more maxi on me to be honest, because it is a lot of fabric, but I really love it. They did have it in white and I was contemplating, I'm not gonna lie, but I went for the black in the end, just because I feel like this is one of those dresses that I can probably wear out for like cocktails and still feel like nice and light and flowy and not too restricted in it. 
Um, I got this in an extra small. Again, just because the small looked a little bit big. I saw this thing on um, on TikTok about like the sizing in Zara of like the shape. So this has got a triangle. And I think a triangle means go down in size. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or if it's just a rumor. But yeah, I got it in an extra small, which hopefully it will be the right size. Hopefully you can kind of see the full length of this dress. So it definitely is a maxi and I'm five foot four. So, you know, if you are a bit taller than me, it'll probably be between like a midi and a maxi. But I really love this. I feel very glamorous. Not, maybe not glamorous. I feel very like fancy and posh and rich in this dress, even though I'm not. It's just giving me, um, is it Reformation? Is that the brand I'm thinking of? It's giving me more like kind of luxury, designer vibes um i think that's just to do with like the way that the fabric's sitting the fabric itself is a really beautiful like lightweight fabric which is also feels weighty if that makes sense and i don't feel hot in it it's quite like but it's quite heavy fabric if that makes sense i feel like i'm just chatting rubbish but it is absolutely stunning and i'm now thinking that i should get it in the white because i do struggle with dresses like this especially lengthwise so yeah, maybe I will pick this up in the white for my next Zara haul. God knows when that will be, probably soon. Um, if you if you are enjoying this one so far, by the way, I'd be really grateful if you do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up um, because it does mean a lot. But yeah, this dress is a yes from me. I'm not sure when I'll be able to wear the next piece that I picked up, but I wanted to get it now because I feel like it's gonna sell out. Everything pink at Zara, I swear, just sells out so quick. They just bring out like the perfect shades. So it's this like denim shirt, jacket, dress thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it might be a dress, um, but I think you can wear it as like an overshirt. I'm just gonna try it on and see how it looks and see how I wanna style it. But it just seems really interesting. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, but I just couldn't resist the color. Like the color is so beautiful. So I think this is most definitely a dress and I am so into this. My boyfriend actually just walked past the door and he was like, that's really nice. So it gets an approval from him and approval from me. I love it. I like the fact that it's kind of higher up here and then at the back it is a little bit lower. I think you can kind of see that. I am very short. So the camera isn't really picking it up that much. But yeah, this is lovely. It's very, very toasty. This actually will keep you nice and warm. So I think, you know, late summer, early autumn, this is going to be worn by me so much. Like, I'm sorry in advance for how often you're going to see this on my Instagram because... I just love it. I've never had anything like this before and I never thought I'd suit it, but this particular colour, I'm like, yes, love. I recently got this like gorgeous mushroom coloured bag and I realised pretty much as soon as I got it, I don't have anything that matches it like nicely and complementary colour wise until I saw this top in Zara. So this is very, it's kind of like a mix between a grey and like a beige, so it's giving off like mushroom color vibes. I don't think mushrooms are very nice sounding color, like I don't personally like mushrooms very much, but I do really love this top. I love the frilly detailing. I think this of like a black blazer and black jeans would look really cute, or even styled up with some really lovely cream pieces. I think this is a very versatile top that I'll probably be able to wear most of the year. Um, but I just, I hadn't seen it before. I think this is a new style for Zara and I really love it. I really love the neckline on this top, how it's slightly squared off. I think it's really flattering, especially with like the frill detailing. I just think this top is great. Like I genuinely don't have anything in this kind of tone. Um, and like I was saying, I think it will just go with so many things. I think it's going to work for so many different seasons. One thing I would say is I probably could have done with a medium. I got it in the small just because this bottom bit down here is on the tighter side. I'm not going to lie. When I put it on, I heard a stitch rip. Um, I can't really see it. So I think it's fine. But yeah, if you guys are, so I haven't got massive boobs. I'm like a 32D. So it did kind of struggle to get over them, but you know, it's not too big of a deal. I just think it's really cute. I actually love it with these shorts as well. Okay, so I took a little bit of a risk with this next top because they only had it in two sizes. So they had it in an extra small and an extra large. Like I hardly ever buy an extra small in Zara tops because they genuinely are tiny, but I couldn't resist this one. Like the like pastel floral design is honestly beautiful. And I just think, 
it looks so gorgeous on the model like on the mannequin and I was like I need to have this they also do matching trousers in like the same pattern which weren't really for me like I don't think I can pull off a full-on floral set but you know if you can then please do do that because I'm sure it would look amazing so I'm hoping and praying this top will fit I mean yeah it's got a bit of stretch but I don't know if it'd be enough I am so happy the top fits it actually has a little zip here which it was honestly like a lifesaver getting it on because I was like I don't know I had it half on and I was like I don't quite know how I'm gonna get this off um but yeah it actually has a zip so that is great I just love this top I think sizing down probably is a good thing to do just because it has got the zip so like it has got quite a lot of room in it um, but I just can't stop looking at the pattern. Like I've got my mirror there. And I'm just, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, I absolutely adore it. It's one of those tops you can really just start up and style down. Like I can literally wear it with this, with like flip flops, or I could probably wear it um, with like some smart trousers and heels. It's very versatile. So I really love it. I think it's one of my favourite tops I've ever picked up from Zara. To be honest, I am obsessed. If any of you guys watching this are brides-to-be, I feel like you're going to love this next dress. It's giving me very much like engagement party, hen party vibes. This is honestly one of the most beautiful dresses I've ever seen in the Zara store. It's in this like beautiful white satin colour. It's like a little mini dress. I just think this is stunning. Or even if you're like going to a white party or you're going to like a Greek island, I can see people wearing this dress as well. It is absolutely beautiful. I am praying that I picked it up in the right size. I got it in a small, um, but it's just gorgeous. I feel like this is another one of those Zara pieces that will probably sell out really quick. Um, but, oh my goodness, I just love it. If, if it looks nice, it will probably be my most favourite thing that I've bought in this video because genuinely, I've not seen a dress this gorgeous in Zara for a very, very long time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not even close to being engaged or, you know, anywhere in that realm, but I feel like I'm a bride at some form of wedding event. I love it. I mean, look at the back of this dress. I think the back is actually nicer than the front. Um, I think the front ugh, kind of, it's nice, but it's a, it is a dress that kind of hangs on the body. Like it doesn't really do much in terms of like giving you a figure. But yeah, it's it's really lovely. The fabric feels very nice on the skin. It always feels like you're wearing a nighty in a way. Um, not that I ever really wear nighties, but I just can't stop looking at the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you are getting married and you like this dress, please do let me know if you do pick it up because I just think you're gonna look beautiful. I feel like everyone is just gonna look gorgeous in this dress. I am absolutely loving halter neck tops at the moment. Like I actually can't stop buying them. I really hope they stay in fashion for a while because I do have a lot of them. But I picked up this little like bikini style halter neck with this really nice like keyhole detailing there. This is a beautiful, beautiful top. Like I love this muted orange color. It is absolutely beautiful. Like pairing this with an oversized blazer and a pair of like blue denim shorts is gonna be such a vibe for like a night out or like a brunch or something. It is absolutely stunning. Like I love this. I think this was the first thing actually when I went into the store that I picked up, I was like, I need this top in my life. It is just so gorgeous. This is giving me all the Pinterest vibes. I love it. It's got like this um, string bit here, which I don't know whether you tie it as a bow. That's how like they had them all in the store. But I feel like you could probably wrap it around as well and give it more like of a kind of dressy vibe. Um, I'll show you the back as well. So it is, I'm not gonna lie, it's slightly bigger here but it's not like massive. I think it still fits quite comfortably, and especially like with the halter, you can kind of adjust it however you want. But I absolutely love it. I think this color works really well with like light shades of denim. So I am very, very into this. I thought I would show you a couple of bags I picked up next because Zara have honestly been smashing it with the bags at the moment. So the first one I picked up is this gorgeous, very like a Bottega, new Bottega style shoulder bag. I absolutely love this pink. I actually think it matches quite well to the little pink dress. So 
maybe this could be a little outfit with like some white shoes or something but i love this bag my friend hannah actually has this and i went shooting with her yesterday and i was like okay will you be annoyed if i buy the same bag as you because i honestly have not fallen in love with a high street bag as much as this in ages and this chain feels really good quality like this is a lovely lovely bag especially you know when it's how much was it actually i think it was 25 pounds compared to you know two grand on a potato bag maybe even three grand so this is definitely an investment and they do this in so many colors they do it in loads of different sizes as well so definitely get on this style of bag if you like the chunky chain vibes um the other bag that i picked up is giving me very jacquemus Jac jacquemus vibes i think that's how you say it i mean how beautiful is this so it's in this like nudie tan color they also do it in like a creamy white shade but i feel like i've got a lot of bags that color and i don't have anything quite like this so i just think it's lovely it's so different and it's got like a couple of different compartments so you've got like this side at the front and then you've also got like the same size at the back so i reckon you could actually fit quite a lot in here even though it does look like a little tiny bag so i am obsessed with both of these like absolutely love them so i've been living in london now for i think maybe like two months and i am desperate to go on a picnic with my boyfriend i think i might try and drag him out on one this coming weekend um, if it's not too warm and i thought that this skirt would be perfect for it i love the gingham vibes like i honestly i'm such a sucker for a gingham print and this yellow and white one was screaming to me it's so cute i love the ruche detailing as well i love ruching on skirts i feel like for those days when you are a little bit more bloated or you know you just you've eaten a lot and you just don't feel completely comfortable that area i honestly am like that every single day ruching just really helps me kind of feel a little bit more confident 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 and um i think this skirt is going to be really lovely i'm not gonna lie i do usually struggle with zara skirts but i feel like the two today have been smash hits like i love this this is such a gorgeous little skirt it is quite short it's a little bit shorter than the one that i tried on earlier but this like free bit at the bottom is obviously making it seem longer than it is so i'm not mad about it i really love it the color is so cute i've just paired it with this little basic top this is from naked fashion i'll link it down below if i remember but yeah this is really sweet i don't know which one i prefer whether i prefer the like orange and pink or this one so let me know down below we are on to the final item now i'm so sorry i feel like i've literally just got progressively more and more hot and flustered as this video has gone on but the final item that i picked up from zara is this little racer vest i do pick up quite a lot of white tops now just because i have them on this like constant rotation in my washing machine because I seem to get foundation on every single white top I wear, so I can literally only wear them once, then I have to wash them, and then I run out of tops. So, I basically just picked it up for that. It seems like a really interesting fabric as well, like I don't know how well you can see that, but it's in this like elasticated, like squiggly fabric. I don't know how to explain it, I've just not seen anything like it, but I wanted to try it out. I picked it up in the extra small to small, which I'm not gonna lie, does look tiny, but I think this is like, really elasticated so hopefully it will be fine this is a really nice top to finish on i actually love the fit of this it's got quite a high neck but the neck is actually stretchy so i don't feel strangled in any way i just really like the neckline of this it's lovely this fabric is super super stretchy so i had nothing to worry about in terms of fit so if you are you know I'm size 8 on top and I got the extra small to small. I, I think it would probably fit a 10 as well because honestly there is so much stress, stretch in this. Um, but yeah, this is really, really nice. I might get another one of these because it's very, very comfortable. And the fabric is really soft. Like I honestly have not felt a fabric like this before. It is very interesting but it looks really nice on as well. So yeah really like this one so that is everything that i picked up from zara i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your favorite piece down below and i'll see you in the next one bye